Sam Hughan enjoyed a slap-up meal in Edinburgh with the Outlander crew this week, and it sounds like the drinks were flowing. The Scottish actor and his pals were guests of TV chef Tony Singh at the Supper Club, where they had cocktails and cannabis before tucking into a stunning array of dishes as part of an eight-course meal. Sam, who plays Highland warrior Jamie Fraser in Outlander, took to social media after the meal to say he had a great time at the restaurant, although he hinted there may have been a tad too much to drink. The Balmaclellan born star, who moved to Edinburgh as a teenager, wrote on his Instagram page, thankful for such a wonderful team who have supported and worked so hard over the years on at Outlander underscore stars. The year old, who has his own brand of whiskey and gin, then added, less thankful for the hangover. Hugin recently opened up about his family's move to Edinburgh when he was a teenager, saying it was like a like a whole new world for him. After he moved from his native Dumfries and Galloway to the Scottish capital at the age of 12. In his memoir, Waypoints, he talks about what it was like to be uprooted from a quiet community to a bustling city. In a chapter titled The Wake Up Call, Hugin reveals that his family moved to Edinburgh so his mother could enroll at Edinburgh College of Art. He writes, After years of living in a quiet community, my mother, my brother, and I packed our belongings for what felt like a whole new world. Swapping the stable and the castle ruins for a suburban street in Edinburgh, we set about settling in for this new chapter in our lives. It was a big change, but also hugely exciting for two young lads like Serdin and me. I had just finished at my little primary school, so I started high school at the same time as all my new classmates. It was a little overwhelming to begin with, but since I could now see without the dreaded glasses, I soon started to make friends and feel comfortable in a crowd. The Hugh Hinn attended James Gillespie's high school, which he recalls as having very strong on rules and discipline. He also remembers a run-in with the school's head teacher after an incident involving a carton of milk. Cuban writes, On one occasion, I came very close to getting into trouble from the top. At the time, I had just been made a school prefect. The incident began with a milk carton. I had been tasked with helping to dish them out at break time to pupils who were part of a milk in school scheme. On finding one left over, I decided to join the scheme for one break only. A moment later, like a gunslinger in some two-bit town, the headmistress stepped out. My eyes went wide with horror. I seized an escape route in the form of the door to the toilet block. I took one look at the open window and lobbed it out. Musing that it was the perhaps first time he ever got into character, Huning goes on to describe raiding a bin once his headmistress questioned him about the missing milk carton and how he bluffed her after luckily finding one at the bottom. He writes, The headmistress considered the carton in my hand. Once again, she seemed to be searching my expression for cracks. The face-off only lasted for a couple of seconds, but it felt like a lifetime. It was perhaps the first occasion that I got into character, and it wouldn't be the last. Ultimately, it showed me what was possible if I delivered it with conviction. There had been high hopes that there would soon be an end to the current Droughtlander casting a shadow over the lives of Outlander fans worldwide. But any dreams were dashed for a return to the screen soon of everyone's favorite Scottish historical time travel drama when show bosses announced last month the return date will be a bit later than expected. The program's loyal followers have been predicting Outlander Season 7. Part 2 would be aired around spring, but on Instagram in March, it was revealed that the much-anticipated second part of the penultimate season would air in November 2024. Alongside a series of behind-the-scenes snaps, a statement on the official account wrote, Just some of our faves behind the scenes during production of Season 7, Part 2. Outlander officially returns this November on STARZ. Some fans weren't happy that the air date is so far away with many saying it feels like a new season altogether than a second part. One penned, November for seven bits? That's so disappointing. 
To promote a supersized S7, then give us the second half of it 15 months later. So we keep spritz up, we've taken a look back at a funny video that was shared last year on the official Outlander Instagram account. It featured the cast impressions of Scott star Sam Hewden's character Jamie Fraser, as fans waited on the first installment of Series 7, which hit screens last June with an extra-long first episode. Stars shared the funny clip, which included John Bell, Katriana Balf, Sam Hewen, Richard Rankin, and other fan favorites as the cast attempted to do their best Scottish accent and copy Jamie Fraser's iconic way of saying Sassanac. With some failing miserably, fans took to the comments to share their thoughts at Outlander underscore all said, Well done, Richard. Yours was music to our ears. And that Kel Bell 8 said, Love this. Sam definitely is the professional here, but loved seeing the others try haha. Meanwhile, UK Outlander fans will be relieved following the news that the drama has found a new home. The show is set to launch part two of the seventh season on new streaming service MGM+. The Stars Produced program had previously been broadcast on Lionsgate+, Plus, which aired episodes of the hugely popular show one day after they were shown in the US, with previous series also available on the site. But on February 29, the company ceased its UK operation, leaving fans of the show with no legal way to get their fix with many left uncertain how they access the new upcoming episodes. Now, MGM Plus have come to the rescue after they struck up a deal that will deliver premium Leon Gate and Stars programming to UK-based fans. Lionsgate Plus subscribers who joined via Prime Video channels in the UK will get access to the MGM service beginning in April. Later in May, the service will be rebranded to MGM Plus to align with the recent rebrand in Europe Latin America, and the United States. 